that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? We're going to talk a little bit of The Boys, which had its season finale uh, the other night. Now, I'm, I am going to give you a little bit of warning. It's been a couple of days now. It's, it's dropped Wednesday at midnight. It's now Friday. Uh, so we don't you know, like to go into too many details within the first 12 hours of a show coming out. But it's been another day. So we are going to talk about some details here just to give you a heads up warning for those of you who haven't seen the uh, the finale of The, uh, the Boys. I'll just start off with the big picture. It's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And, you know, ending with basically where it felt like the moment the boys revealed to us in season one, episode one, that Homelander is not a good guy. We now get to the end of season four with the world of the boys being in its inevitable place inevitably this world of the boys with a homelander this is where we were going to end up a new fascism where basically homelander is now basically running the country with his puppets they're rounding up all the dissidents and all that kind of stuff and it's just a, a very very depressing kind of ending but such a powerful episode with the ending to an incredibly powerful 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 season I, I just couldn't, I can't believe how much Eric Kripke managed to, manages to continue to keep his foot on the pedal and keep things going. There are a couple of big highlight moments for me, obviously with Butcher giving in, like after everything went with Ryan went south and, and that was really, um, Oof. what was her name again? Grace Mallory. Mallory, with the way Mallory what screwed everything up. Humble and what yeah. a... Oh, she's always been so careful. She's always been so careful yep. with what she's done. She mm. totally effed everything up. And then the butcher just giving us like, yep, guess there's no other way. He goes, and I felt so bad for Newman. I felt so bad for Newman. He did such a good job just humanizing her so much this season and making this incredibly powerful person feel so powerless. And that was horrific. Yeah. That was so violent. Oh my God. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. There's a couple of things we want to talk about too, but I'll tell you why I loved Newman's death. Edgar is still out there. Mm -hmm. Giancarlo Esposito's out there. And while it is Butcher who killed her, he's going to hold one person responsible. That's Homelander. Yeah. Because he knows what Homelander was doing to her. And when he finds out, and he will find out, that Homelander threatened to rip his granddaughter into pieces and send them to her mother, one piece of her to her mother per year, I think the one guy, other than Soldier Boy, that could make, in this series that has constantly made Homelander piss himself, is Stan Edgar. And so we've got Soldier Boy back in play. Yes. Maeve is still out there, mm -hmm. despite because at the end of this episode, everybody's round up and captured. So the left remaining players and pieces on the board are Starlight, uh, Billy Butcher, uh, Maeve is still out there. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, A Train's in the wind. A Train is still out there. Mm -hmm. Yep, A Train's in the wind. Ashley, Ashley, yeah, who is a character that I've always thought was kind of just a waste of screen time in a way. But it, the way it all built up to what ultimately happens, I'll tell you what, last week's episode, when she says, when she actually breaks down and reveals to A-Train, I fired my assistant because I wanted to get him away from here. It's like, it's the first really human thing we saw. And, and like, so it's the first time we see past the facade that she has. Mm -hmm. And like, she's actually a human being under, a really effed up human being, but a human being nonetheless. Yeah. And then with the ending, the way she ends her storyline in this particular episode taking the temp v and like what's going to happen to her and all this kind of stuff and then one of the most heartbreaking things i'll let you talk about that part the, like the most heartbreaking thing at the end with uh kimiko with her her saying her first word <laughs> <gasps> I rewound that so many times. I just kept playing that over and over again because it was, wait, you know what? What? Because we, we have heard her sing, but that was a fantasy. And her just having that guttural, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Man. Oh. This show. Yeah. And, and here's, so I got a couple of theories. 
Okay. Uh, now, we know what happens in the comic book, but clearly the show has deviated from the comic book. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, like, there's the general direction of the comic that the show's kind of followed. Mm -hmm. So we kind of know where that's going, but it, also a lot is up in the air. Number one, I think Starlight losing her power and now re-tapping into it, I think she's coming back more powerful than ever. Absolutely agree. Um, I think she's going to come back like more powerful than ever. Is she one that can now go toe to toe with Homelander? Don't know about that. Uh, Butcher, I think will pull himself back. I think the he's got the remember he's got the Negan side of his brain, and he's got the Becca side of his brain. So I think ultimately the Becca side is going to pull him back a little bit. And I st I still think Ryan is in play. I don't think Ryan's a lost cause at this point because. I don't think he trusts his dad either. I don't yeah. think he's about to run back into the arms of his dad. So there's that. I think Maeve makes a return uh, because her and Starlight clearly got close. So I think Maeve makes a return. The biggest thing to me is how does Soldier Boy play into this? Because why on earth, why on earth would Homelander allow Soldier Boy to be rewoken up when he knows Soldier Boy just wants to kill him? So unless. I don't know, Starlight, because Starlight knows uh, Soldier Boy's still alive. So unless Starlight and Butcher at some point reconnect and they break the boys out of prison and think, well, we know that Soldier Boy's, and they go back out. So maybe that end credit scene is just to remind the audience that Soldier Boy is still out there. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Game time. My wife Ann and I love going to events, whether they're comedy shows, concerts, an LA Lakers game. I mean, just the other night we went to go see Ronnie Chang and it was awesome. We love having these new experiences and new memories. And our sponsor Game Time makes getting tickets for concerts and events faster and easier, even if you don't buy tickets right away. Because prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer you get to the show start time. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game time takes the guesswork out of buying event tickets. I couldn't believe how easy and most importantly, intuitively, the entire app works. Finding the event I was looking for couldn't have been easier. The way it lays out the map of the venue, letting you know exactly where the seats are that you're looking for and how easy the process was to choose and buy those tickets. So don't worry if you think you're too late to get tickets to that big event you and your friend want to go to. They have last minute deals. Save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, whatever. So guys, take the guesswork out of buying concert tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code CAMPIA for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CAMPIA, C-A-M-P-E-A, -E for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. So I don't know where they go with this. Anyway, how are your feelings of the, the finale and, and the season overall? I mean, it was a great season. It was such a it was such a violent season. And there were so many things I just couldn't watch in this one where I had to just kind of be in the other room and listen. So much eye stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. Sister Sage, stop <laughs> lobotomizing yourself. Ah. Um, thank you all for all the warnings too. Everyone was really sweet and I got so many DMs from you guys saying not to watch certain moments. So thank you. With timestamps, you guys are the real heroes. <laughs> um, man, I mean, this season wildly was imitating a lot of real life stuff. Hence, you know, we had the trigger warning before this episode too and a renaming of this one. The Boys has really been on the pulse of a lot of things. They've done such a beautiful job of adapting this comic, like you were saying, but making it their own story while still feeling true and reminiscent of the original source material i cared about so many characters i did not think i would like ashley like a train's redemption story I, there ended was up being no really world. good i never thought i'd be back on his side and i absolutely adored all of that um i still can't wrap my head around the fact that they got tilda swinton this season to voice an octopus that was insane <laughs> to me and and this ending you know on the boys we don't get nice things so when we start having that glimmer of hope MM's going to get on that plane, you know, Huey and Starlight are going to go off all these kinds of things. And then that big closing moment of everyone just getting God. Ah, uh, I think when you know, it was like, it was kind of like the ending of the original Godfather Ooh. where it's like Homelander was settling family accounts. Except all you didn't want him to settle. What's that? Except you didn't want him to settle. Yeah. Except yeah. you didn't want that. You were so hopeful settled. that yeah. for once they were yeah. going to get their happy endings here. I, I do think moving forward because this season, while we had references to the Gen V show, you didn't need to watch it. 
I do feel like there's going to be further tie-ins this time around, especially because we're not starting filming for the final season of The Voice till about November. Right. Um, which is still pretty soon, but that means we're going to go into 2025, into production and everything. I think there's going to be a lot of nuggets in that next season of Gen V that are going to tie into this storyline. Well, they say the next episode of Gen V, the next season of Gen V picks right up here yeah. in Homelander's New America. Exactly. Yeah. And I think we're going to see a lot of on-campus stuff with, you know, Homelander's put Starlighters on notice. Yeah. And so I think we're going to see a lot of that in the show, the kind of rounding up these kind of almost... Uh, prisons or, or, or internment camps, internment for lack camps. of a better yeah. term here, of using these people. I think it's going to be a pretty bleak season of that. I'm very interested to see where the show's going. And I, I got to just say, you know, Kripke, when you give him five seasons of something, it's chef's kiss. It's what he wanted for Supernatural. It's what he's doing with this. I love a creator who knows that they're coming to an end of a story and that they have a vision for what it's going to be. So I am really excited about what's to come. And really, when you think about it too, there's this story like you can especially feel it now this story is naturally coming to its end like Absolutely. you're there's you just can't go much further than where they're at because now you've come to a loghead where things have now got to get settled and resolved and that's going to be the end of it and uh i just cannot wait for season five so well done amazon and eric kripke for another fabulous season of the boys i absolutely loved it cannot wait to uh get around to gen v season two hey guys thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like the video leave a comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget we have a daily podcast called the john campy show podcast available on apple Podcasts, spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it